Hey guys, it's Tom here with MYT Solar. I want to let you guys know today why we only use Victron products in our solar installs. One of the big things for us as professional solar installers is choosing the equipment that we get to work with and what we get to put into our customers' rigs. We use Victron for a lot of reasons. I want to get into a few of those reasons. If you haven't been here before, please subscribe. Um, hit the notification button for any of these videos that you might want to see in the future. All right, let's get into it. The first one I would say is just time-tested reliability of the brand. Victron's been in the battery-based energy space for 50 years. They started out in marine, and if you think about the conditions that, that equipment needs to survive in in marine applications, well, they've been doing something right. As well as in the marine space, you know, I've seen, I've seen Victron equipment used in hospitals in Africa, off-grid hospitals in Africa. Um, big commercial off-grid applications, critical off-grid applications. So many different places that this equipment that is used that it's really depended on. So the Victron products all carry a five-year warranty, which is awesome because that's a huge, you know, big thing for the products to have that kind of warranty behind them. Victron has a nationwide network of, of dealers, distributors that take care of those warranty issues. Our distributor is right here in Portland, nice and close to us. Our distributor in Portland has a direct line to the Victron engineers. Any little software stuff that we find or little questions that we have, they're able to reach out to Victron and relay some of that information to Victron and back to us. So we really like that kind of dependability and reliability of the brand. In four years, we've only had a defective charge controller and a defective BMS. Both of those issues were taken care of with warranty in about two weeks, no questions asked. Very, very simple. While we were doing repairs, when we were a mobile RV repair company, I was constantly swapping out other brands of equipment, the inverters, the solar charge controllers, I have repaired and replaced so many of the other brands and, all, and in all this time of doing the installs, I've only swapped out two Victron parts. So number two, I would say is the expandability and communication that Victron integrates with their products. Because the Victron products are designed for so many applications, the way the devices communicate and connect to each other is done so in a very expandable way. Victron uses three communication protocols, V direct, V can, and V bus, in order to connect different devices together and network them essentially on the system. And so it is exactly that. It's a system made up of lots of very different and independent components, but due to that communication and due to the, their design, when those products are connected and programmed correctly, you get exactly that. You get a system that is still expandable. You know, if you wanted to have three MPPTs, you can daisy chain those together and have them speak to the servo. If you wanted to add a fourth, you could slip one more in there and daisy chain it. Systems out there with one BMS and 20 batteries. So in the very design, the system is designed to communicate as new pieces are added into that. Solar and lithium system needs a lot of independent components in order to function, but the nice thing about the Victron is due to those communication protocols, right hand is talking to the left hand, which means that system is going to function in, in some synergy. Number three, I would just say the Victron Connect app. I'm a big fan of that app. So it's one central application that uses Bluetooth to list all the devices when you're locally at the RV. You can be in your camp chair, you can pull up the Victron Connect app, you can check what your solar is doing, check what your batteries are doing, check what your inverter is doing, and so it's really nice to have that application. The other aspect of that application is the programming. Programming is a simple task with your phone. Once you set the equipment up, open up the phone, do the firmware updates, program the system to exactly what it needs to be for that specific system. How many batteries are in the system? What is the preferred charge voltage of those batteries? What is the preferred float voltage of those batteries? Those with, with number two is that communication aspect, but so Bluetooth, another communication, but the ability to program those devices exactly how they need to be. You know, a lot of other equipment and a lot of other branded solar equipment it might have things like dip switches where you can change some dip switches to switch from lithium to lead acid. Sometimes that's a fixed charge profile and not every lithium battery wants the same charge profile as the next. So having that customizability in the Victron Connect app, it's just, it's super seamless. As RVers, we obviously have to manage power. Managing power is a lot like managing money. Unless you can actually see the numbers and look at the numbers, which you can with that Victron app, 
you're not gonna be able to manage your power. So that's another important part. All right, number four, I would say is the Servo GX and the Touch 70. And the reason I'm chuckling a bit is because I talk about this on almost every one of my videos. If you go back and look at my videos, you'll see I am probably the Touch 70's biggest fan. With the Servo GX, which is connecting all of the Victron devices, we get access to pre present that information on a, touch, on a touch screen, which shows our battery, our inverter, our solar, our DC to DC chargers, all on one central screen. And that Touch 70 on that very front screen gives you a snapshot of absolutely the entire system and where things are moving. And it's, you know, it's just awesome doing a walkthrough with a customer when they see that screen. Some of these customers that have no knowledge about watts or amps or volts or any of that stuff, because of how user-friendly and informative that screen is, just see the light bulb click as I'm walking through and they're like, oh, I'm getting it now. It's coming from the batteries through the inverter and making the one, it's just, it's just a, a really great screen for the customers to use to manage their power in their RV. I don't think I even talk about this in, in many of the other points, but Victron is constantly redesigning and, and a credit to Victron, as good as that interface is, they've actually just brought out the new user interface, which is, pretty slick looking. I have a video coming out about that soon. With that Serbo, and again, I use the term Serbo GX and Touch 70 kind of interchangeable because it is the Serbo is the information. The screen is literally just a screen, but together that's what we're using. The nice thing about that Serbo is it has some programmable relays built into it. And so we're able to utilize that in our install to, for different things, you know, starting a generator automatically, controlling lighting with the touch screen, which is we do use that for our LEDs under the bed usually, a temperature controlled, therm a thermostat controlled fans that we put in our installs in the compartment to move air that are you know connected from that Ruby tag to the Serbo GX. With that Serbo GX, you can connect that device to Wi-Fi. So different from the Victron Connect app, now we're talking Wi-Fi. If we have our rig connected to Wi-Fi, or off doing your grocery shopping, it was too hot to bring the dogs, you can leave them in the RV with the air conditioner running. And thanks to the Servo GX and the VRM, you can go online from the grocery store and say, yes, the rig is still 60 degrees. Yes, I still see the air conditioners running. And yes, I have 75% battery and my pets are safe. So as well as the customer side of that, using the VRM, the remote monitoring to check on their system while they're away from it, as the installer with rigs from Florida, Minnesota, and across the entire country, I can remote in. So when a customer is maybe having an issue, they got an alert of some sort, I can remote in and there's a log saved there so that I can go back and kind of figure out on the back end what might have caused that. I can also do firmware updates thanks to that Servo GX and the VRM. And we're MYT Solar, we're actually a full-time RV solar install company here in Oregon. We're trying to put out more videos for you guys. Please subscribe if you like what you see. We're gonna keep pushing YouTube videos out there that are hopefully useful in our spare time, which is hard to find. Number five, this may sound a little pretentious, but aesthetics. I can't deny that that Victron Blue looks awesome. You see so many nice installs on, online, people using that Victron. I think our installs look awesome, if I can say that myself. I think they're super pretty and neat and clean. And a lot of that to do has to do with the work that we put in, but a lot of that just has to do with the design lines of the Victron product. And we obviously take a lot of pride in our work, managing our cable, selecting where the equipment needs to go. But a lot of that is also just built into Victron, the, the use of the link system where, where our BMS and our bus bars can be connected in one nice group. Let's face it, this is expensive equipment, so I think it's important that it does look the part as well. Not only does it is it aesthetically pleasing, it also is just designed to kind of fit well and save a lot of space for certain times when space is limited, which is usually the case in an RV. Those are our five reasons of why we use Victron products. We work with the equipment every day. There's a lot of other reasons and things that we love about Victron, but specifically why we use Victron over other brands, those would be the main five reasons. I'm curious though, do you have a Victron system? Do you have some other brands? You know, there's a lot of new up and coming brands in the solar world that I am not using because I'm using Victron. So if you've got some other equipment brands, names that are working for you, let me know in the comments. Or if you're a Victron fanboy, let me know in the comments as well. This is Tom with MYT Solar. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.